Matthew, Matthew 15. Then came Yahusha, scribes and Parashim, which were of Yahushalayim, saying, Why do your Talmudim transgress at the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of Yahuwah by your tradition? For Yahuwah commanded, saying, Honor at your father and at your mother. And he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever you might be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of Yahuwah of no effect by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Yahshua, rather Yeshayahu, prophesy of you, saying, This people draws nigh unto me with their mouth and honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goes into the mouth defiles a man, but that which comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. Then came his Talmudim and said unto him, Do you know that the Padashim were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Then answered Kepha and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Yahusha said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enters in at the mouth goes into the belly and is cast out into the draught? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defiles not a man. Then Yahusha went thence, and departed into the coast of Sor and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Adonai, son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his Talmudim came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Yahshadael. Then came she and worshipped him, and saying, Rather, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Adonai, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's eth bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Adonai, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Yahusha answered and said unto her, O woman, great is your belief. Be it unto you even as you will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And Yahusha departed from thence, and came nigh unto the sea of Galil, and went up into a mountain, and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him. 
having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Yahusha's feet. And he healed them, so much so that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be made, rather to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see. And they glorified Yahuwah of Yahshed'el. Then Yahusha called his Talmudim unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. And his Talmudim say unto him, Whence should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill so great a multitude? And Yahusha said unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and a few little fish. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fish and gave thanks and broke them and gave to his Talmudim and the Talmudim to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up of the broken meat that was left, seven baskets full. And they that did eat were four thousand men, beside women and children. And he sent away the multitude, and took ship, and came into the coasts, of Migdal.